Hey guys, it's Kate. Today I am going to be showing you like my packing sort of vlog experience because I wanted to do it more voiceover style so that I can pack in the best tips and keep it organized. I hope that this helps, gives you some inspiration and makes the whole thing easier. I literally bought a microphone for this so that the audio could be good because I know my camera audio is so bad because I dropped it too many times so don't skip the ads, okay, buy a new one. First, here's a little introduction about me. I'm gonna be a sophomore and I'm gonna be moving from Hawaii for the very first time in my life. Born and raised here for 19 years, finally moving to college, even though I'm gonna be starting sophomore year because freshman year was canceled due to Panini. And thank you so much to Clean and Clear for partnering with me on this video. All right, first things first, I got my suitcases out and then I literally just started grabbing all the clothes from my clothing racks in the drawers, on the floor, on the chair. As you can see, everything is in a big state of disarray. When I come back to Hawaii, I will definitely be doing a massive closet cleanup because I realized that I have so much clothes that I actually don't even love to wear. Not gonna lie, when I first started, this process seemed way harder than it actually ended up being. So if that's you right now, you're just sitting down and you don't even wanna start, don't worry. I was there too, but it actually wasn't that bad and we'll be okay. I decided to start off with pants because they are the heaviest to transport and I also have the least amount of them so it's like less overwhelming to figure out what I wanted to bring. Oh, wait, he looks so small from this angle. Malky cannot come. Malky, back. Oh no! Hey! Go back! Are you gonna miss me? Never. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> and now I'm gonna do a haul of everything that people told me not to bring because I can just buy again in college, but I love them so much that I am just going to bring them over from home. I have my favorite besties, Olaplex. These babies are not packing in well at all because it is so packed in here that you know, like this doesn't close anymore. Without Olaplex, I'd probably be, be half bald right now and have five times the frizz, so love them. And then I have this big water bottle. It's a Yeti, Ethan's recent favorite obsessions. He actually got this for me. The water in here will literally stay cold for two days, even if you left it in the sun because the insulation. I've also been using a lot of clean and clear skin products right now. Waking up, I tend to feel groggy, but immediately when I wash my face with this morning burst facial cleanser, I feel so much more alive and clean because this gel cleanser has vitamin C and ginseng in it. Oil-free doesn't clog your pores. It's perfect for washing away like dirt and grime that might accumulate while you're sleeping. And then after I wash my face, I use this dual action moisturizer and it has salicylic acid in it. So basically it just keeps your skin nice and moisturized, but not too wet and like pore clogging so your skin doesn't act up or break out like that. I have really combination skin, which makes it hard sometimes to find products because I'll be really oily right here. Like you can see me shining. Then my skin will often be too dry around here. So I really love combo moisturizers. And then last but not least, these oil absorbing sheets. If you have never tried one of these in your life, I'm gonna show you this right now. Like it will literally just soak up all the oil that's on your face. Do you see all this oil that just like left my face immediately? You can see that I'm much less shiny on the forehead and now my skin is so much more matte just like that. So this is such a good thing to like carry around in your school backpack or stuff like that. Awesome part is that you can use it over makeup and it doesn't smudge at all for me. I'll be linking down below all the products that I mentioned in this video and you can find all these clean and clear products at Walmart or walmart.com. And really exciting news, they're actually doing a giveaway for you guys. So one of my followers and their friend can enter for a chance to win a $150 walmart.com gift card to spend on your back to school essentials. Make sure to check out my Instagram post at kkatelee for more details on how to enter. Alrighty, so that's it for the haul and we're back to me trying to figure out how to move everything So I put a bunch of shoes and a coat in a box because it literally weighs 10 pounds and I ended up just shipping it I tried to do a lot of things to avoid packing But I went on live with Lauren and our followers said that I should pack so I did Hi. Okay, all the followers said that I should be packing instead of doing my product photos for precious by Kate so I'm gonna be packing again. <laughs> okay, the reason why my room looks like this is because I have piles of clothes that I don't know. So the way I like to pack is basically just like fold everything up, not quite rolling, but sort of, and then you just kind of, you know, stack it as tight as you can. One week later and I only had a tenth of what I needed to be packed, so I decided to call in for the big help. Grace and Leanne are here and um, we're going to be finally doing the official packing day because I have been 
delaying this for quite a while. This is from 2019 when my room was actually like trashed and they just helped me fix it up so clean afterwards. So highly trust their skills. I'm finally gonna just like do most of it all today. I'm starting to get allergies already. So I'm gonna put the mask on. Also, look at how tan I am now. Went to the beach and I baked for like 10 hours. And then from here, they literally just started going ham on everything. I was handing them clothes and they were like folding it up. I put a bunch of stuff on the table because this is like a good tip. But I think you should just like pull all of the clothes you want first and just like put it in a little pile, even though it's going to look really gross at first. But then you can easily just like fold it all up and just shove it into the suitcase. I also really didn't do any type of organizing really. I was trying at first, but I decided that since you're going to end up unpacking everything, you can just literally sort it when you get to college. So just try to shove as much as you can and pro tip make sure you split up your pants into different suitcases if you're gonna be flying with them and if you're not flying with it I'm very jealous because the weight limits were really killing me most airlines have a limit of 50 pounds per checked-in luggage so I had to keep weighing it over under over under oh my goodness at least five times each suitcase I highly recommend that if you have some friends who can help you, it literally made the job so much easier because they know what clothes I actually like realistically would wear every day and they have also already been to college. So they gave me a lot of tips about like what kinds of things you'll actually want to wear in college because I don't know, I'm a Pisces. So a lot of things that I idealize or think of aren't actually going to happen. So, you know, it just kind of helps me for outfit planning to have someone who can be realistic about it. A good thing though is that airlines won't check really how heavy your carry-on is so I put the heaviest things I could find in there like my speaker, electronics, you know, and also important things that you don't want to get lost like my purses, you know, stuff like that. Right before moving, I also did my laundry the day before just so that I would have some clean things to bring. Ethan helped me do a final weigh-in and we under! <laughs> And just like that, I was fully packed, ready to go. I really want to cry now because I miss my home. But I'm also so happy to be here. So I hope that this video helps you guys. If you're moving to college too, best wishes. Feel free to DM me whenever on Instagram if you just want to chat about it. You guys are seriously my best friends. As my university says, fight on. See you guys next time. Thank you.